Tis the season for peace on earth, goodwill towards men, and free to venture resolve presets. I actually uh, knit this scarf uh, myself, by the way. <laughs> Today I'm updating one of my most popular uh, past presets that currently exists um, in three different versions um, with different features and uh, different options, all of that. I am combining all of those into one preset and using some really cool uh, new features in DaVinci Resolve 18 to add more functionality than ever. If you follow the link in the description, you can get to the download page for this social promo uh, V3 DRFX. You can just double click that to install it in Resolve and then inside Resolve on your timeline. Uh, if you come in your effects library to uh, titles, Sterling Zipplyco, you have social promo V3. Drop that onto your timeline and boom, you got a little whoosh, 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 promo. And by default, it looks exactly like the first one of these that I made a really long time ago. But we start to see big differences right off the bat when we look inside the inspector. The first option you have here is the selection control. You have three options, basic, expanded, and custom. Uh, basic just gives you eight different social promo options you can choose from. These are the same options that were on the last version. Uh, expanded uh, pulls in another version of this I made um, that actually has a hundred different options that used uh, another whole cool new thing at the time, but that is under expanded here. If you want to look through all of these, there are lots of them. If you want to, uh, I don't know, advertise your Reddit, you can do it. And then there is custom. If you click custom, oh no, you get a black box. But this is that new feature uh, that just came in Resolve 18.1. I have the Resolve logo in my media pool over here. And back in the inspector, we have this clip name function where it says fusion title. If I drag that Resolve logo, right to where it says fusion title, let go, it will substitute that logo in. And now inside this graphic, there's the resolve logo. And then I can jump ahead to, you know, uh, icon controls, scale that back up, even scale it past if I want that to just be all you see. And off the bat, wow, you can already do a lot. You've got a whole bunch of the presets built in. And then, hey, if you have any logo you want to use, drop it right in from the media pool and you'll be good to go. Uh, because of that, this does require Resolve 18.1. At least uh, to use that functionality, I believe the other presets might still work before 18. Uh, but, you know, it, it's it's a cool new feature. Grab Resolve 18.1. <laughs> but big updates in this as well um, are just all the extra controls you have. You do have these master controls. If you want to change this position anywhere in frame, uh, that rotation, the scale, it will scale from the center. And that scale will be important when I show off something very cool in a second. Uh, then, of course, we have text controls uh, for these two lines of text we have. Real important here, those each have a start offset control. You will see these. Uh, this text does slide in, but if I come to you know this second icon, this profile, and just type in a whole lot, you'll see. Oh no! Even uh, <laughs> even when the clip starts, you have all this extra footage. But you can crank up this start offset, and that will push it further off screen. And when it animates in, it will still animate into that proper uh, first position and then push push all the text where it's supposed to go. So really powerful tool for that um, if you have a really long name or something. Uh, but hey, now this is longer than the background. Can you fix that? Yes. That is uh, not in there, but in uh, bars controls. Uh, first, let's look at icon controls. Uh, first, you have that uh, size we looked at earlier if you want to scale any of these up. Uh, additionally, you can change the background of uh, this, this white uh, square, uh, including uh, changing how squarey or roundy that is. If you want to make it a circle, go ahead and do it. Uh, or uh, the width and height if you want to expand or uh, contract that. But we can move on because we also have bars controls. You have a top section and a bottom section. And uh, first for each of those is just length. So I can pull this out. Uh, you can hold shift if you want it to go a little slower. But yeah, we could extend that all the way out. And then, hey, you could just uh, copy that, paste that in for bottom as well. And now, even with this really long name, oh, looks like we're not quite there. Text, uh, pull up that start offset just a hair more. But now, boom, come in, new logo really long text, but it all fits. And of course, color controls are a big deal if you want to change that to anything, especially if you want the, the text to be a certain color, you can change uh, the background to match that, mix any of this up. I've even added in the cap style if for you know whatever reason you want these to be rounded. Uh, maybe you know you're coming in here, this icon, you're also going a uh, full round there, pulling down the sides of that. Uh, it's a different look, and now it's easier to do than ever. So I can customize this however I want, uh, change this up to whatever logo I want, change all of these settings, and then on my timeline, I can stretch this to as long as I want, and then it'll just come up, hold, and then animate back out 
when that clip ends. One last really, really cool thing. Say you've got a vertical timeline, you're editing a TikTok or YouTube short. Hey, drop the promo right on there and it works. There's stuff happening behind the scenes you don't really need to care about, but you will know that if you drop this on, uh, you'll probably need to come right into master controls, uh, maybe scale it down a little bit more, maybe change this position to where you want it in frame. It's still processing a horizontal image after the fact, uh, but just, uh, you, you don't need to know what's going on. It works on vertical timelines. And if you're watching this preset, this update is available now, and it is and will stay completely free. Follow the link in the description that will send you to my site. Hey, while you're there, check out some of the other uh, dozens of free presets and a few uh, really cool paid ones. Especially lately, we've been doing um, some really fun stuff. Uh, masking presets on the edit page. Uh, really cool highlighter effects. Check all that out. Really cool stuff there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.